I'm here with another of my top 10 tranquility tips and the tip just now is number nine, journaling. Now in the days before Facebook, our ancestors used to keep diaries and in those diaries they would record the everyday things that went on in their lives, uh, where they went, what they ate, who they met and a lot of our historical information comes from those diaries. A lot of what we know about the lives of people years ago comes from their diaries. Now journaling is slightly different from keeping a diary because a journal is a record of the way we're feeling, a record of our thoughts and feelings. Uh, it can be entirely random, they might be ordered in some way. All you need for that is a, a journal, uh, a notebook of some kind. And some people like to do it in a, in a regular fashion. Um, journaling every morning is quite a popular way to do it. Other people prefer to do it every evening. Or, people may just prefer to do it whenever they have some thoughts that they want to get off their chest. Now for many people writing down the way they're feeling can be really cathartic. You may not be able to express the way you're feeling to someone you're having an argument with or in dispute with or even someone who you feel very positively towards but you're not able to actually put that in words and, and say the way you feel to them. So the act of writing it down gets it out of your head and onto the page and you can stop it going round and round in your head over and over again can help you with those obsessive thoughts that often lead to stress and anxiety. Getting rid of anger or hurt by writing out can also increase your or reduce your feelings of helplessness and sometimes the act of writing those feelings down makes those feelings real and when you see them on the page you can actually start to see a solution to the problem or issue that's arisen. So you might like to give that a go, writing down the way you're feeling. Uh, that's my tip number nine. If you've enjoyed this video and like to see some more, uh, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel here. And if you've got any good ideas about uh, how to keep yourself calm and focused during your day, please make a note down below.